What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. In today's video, we are rocking with some of the best Pokemon in the game. We are rocking with a Tyranitar and Garchomp team that features Life Orb Scissor, Rotom Wash, Sableye, and Arcanine. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, like, what, what do I have to do? Please let me know in the comment section down below what I have to do for you guys to subscribe to the channel. It really does go a long way. I give a huge shout out to all my subscribers. But let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off with arguably the best combo in this game. We got ourselves Garchomp and Tyranitar combo. We're starting off with Garchomp here with Bright Powder to make him actually uh, more invasive. So that, alongside with Sandbell right here with his ability in Sandstorm, he can dodge up a bunch of moves. We're rocking a move set of Sword Sands, Protect, Dragon Call, and EQ. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be Tyranitar over here. And this isn't like a big physical attack in Tyranitar. I'll show you guys the EVs real quick. This is a nice, big, bulky Tyranitar. It's impish nature, and its EVs are HP and defense. So it's going to be able to just outbulk a bunch of physical attackers. Move sets right here with Crunch, Rock Slide, Iron Tail, and Protect. And then we're rocking out with the leftovers as item to give it more HP at the end of every single turn. Third Pokemon on the squad is going to be our lovely support Sableye over here. We got the Mental Herb so we can't be taunted. And then. We're rocking out with a great move set of Quash, Snarl, Knock Off, and Fake Out. So I can come in turn one, Fake Out, set up a Pokemon like Scissor or Garchomp, and get Rolling from there, which I really, really like. And then he's just here for, for support with a special attack drop with the Snarl, and then Quash makes our opponent go last. So I do dig it. I really do dig this move set. Next Pokemon on squad is Scissor. That's all you guys need to know. Scissor right here, Life Orb, Normal Move Set, Technician. Done. Done. You guys seen plenty of Scissor. There's no need for me to actually go in depth about his move set and everything. Fifth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Rotom Wash over here. And Rotom Wash is a top tier special attacker in this game. Water and Electric type with the Citrus Berry as item. Rock and Levitate as its ability. And there's the EVs right there. Special attack and speed. And last but not least, we're probably rocking the best moves at form. Thunderbolt, Hydro Pump, Nasty Plot to set up and protect for our fourth and final move. Last Pokemon on squad is this Arcanine. Been loving this Arcanine so much. Been using him on a lot of the teams recently. He's just so good and he works with any single squad. We got Flamethrower, Snarl, will o Protect, Intimidate as its ability, and then last but not least, item we are holding is that Aqua Berry to give it more HP when it drops below. I think it's 1 4th. I think it's 1 4th, but it's solid. It is a solid little item. But guys, there's team preview. Let's hop into that Coliseum. Let's grab some wins for you guys. We're hopping into our first battle for today's video, and our opponent was picking the rules, and he chose six Pokemon, so looks like we're having a 6v6 to get things started here. How should I go into it? How should I lead it? But this guy's got a cool team. Gengar, look at that. Oh, is it Gengar, Lucario, Tyranitar, Gyarados, Metagross, and Electivire? I'm digging it. I definitely want to lead the Garchomp. I feel like leading the Garchomp and maybe the Sableye, trying to potentially set up a Sword Dance could be good. It could definitely be good, but the Gyarados is kind of scary with Intimidate. But other than that, like, my Garchomp can rip through. So going in with Sableye and Garchomp, I think is a great lead. And then we just bring uh, Tyranitar, Scissor, Rotom, and Arcanine all in the back end. Right, lock it down, lock it in. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's grab ourselves a win here at battle number one. But yeah, this team today is very hyper offensive and a bunch of strong Pokemon on it. So hopefully we can get some big old wins and get ripping from there. But he's going to end up leading uh, Intimidate on Gyarados, which is, which is a little scary. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit here and lie. But I think my play is definitely going in, going to go into a Swords Dance. Because one, we pose that threat to Electivire. So he's probably either going to protect or swap out. And then we just fake out onto the lovely little Gyarados. And this was not Intimidate. It was Moxie. Okay, so it's a Moxie Gyarados. That's even better for us. That's even better for us. We're gonna drop a fake out and Electivire staying in. I wonder what he's doing here. I wonder what else. Oh, we could be rocking Ice Punch, which could be scary. Which definitely could be scary. We do have the Bright Powder. I have a chance to dodge it. But let's see. Here it is flinches, and this thing is gonna go for the Ice Punch. Oh, you little biscuit. Can we eat that? We can, yo. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. All right, cool. So from here, uh, I think I just drop an EQ, right? Do I drop an EQ? Or do I swap? I could swap Sableye. I could definitely swap Sableye, but I think we just drop an EQ. We take out the Electivire. Like, and, uh, we do. Do we knock off? Try to take off this thing's item? I said we take off the Gyarados item. Wow, dude, that Ice Punch came in. Did me dirty. Did me real dirty. Here comes the EQ. It's not going to affect Gyarados, but we should be able to take out the Electivire, no problem here. And, uh, Sableye should be able to eat it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's beautiful, yo. That's beautiful. Sableye eats this on 9, and hopefully he outspeeds at this point. We can just take out or take off the item on Gyarados. Let's see. Oh, he's going to Dragon it. He's going to Dragon it, so I can quash it. I can quash that, get another turn off here, maybe drop another EQ. Or I can just Dragon Claw that thing and try to take it out. Z's going to be sitting there like, oh, yo, I'm faster. I can take it out anyway. But now nah, we're just going to quash it. And we're going to take off its lovely little leftovers. Cool. I'm solid. That's a solid turn. I dig it. I dig these turns. I dig it because I don't think he's going to bring out anybody faster than Chomp. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. But yo, Quash is ready to roll. I'm ready to roll Quash on this guy and just take it out and then go from there. 
Not a bad first turn for us. I'm surprised he did stay in with that Electivire. If we would've just EQ'd first turn, could've been great all, but now he's sitting here with that. That is real tough. That is real tough. You know what? We're still gonna go for the uh, the Dragon Call over onto Gyarados, because Gyarados really does pose a threat. And we are gonna, we're, we're just gonna double down. We're gonna quash this thing and we're gonna try to get rid of Gyarados. We're hoping he's not like Rock and Bullet Punch. Bullet Punch could definitely do me dirty. B Punch could definitely do me dirty. Let's see what he goes into from here. Cool, we get off our Dragon Call. This should be able to take him out, no problem. Get this thing out of here, right? Huge. That's a huge turn. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Now let's see what Lucario is going into. Lucario is going to go into Medium Mash. Take out Sableye. Okay, cool. Yo. Chomp. Potentially another turn here. Potentially another turn. We love it. We love it. So that Quash came up huge, and now we can bring in this uh, Tyranitar and maybe get a dodge on the, with the Sand Stream. Sand Bell and the Bright Powder. Could be good. Could be good for us. I'm digging it. And he's going to throw out this thing. Oh. Protect EQ coming in hot. Unless he's rocking Bullet Punch. Unless he's rocking Bullet Punch, but still. Protect EQ. We have Sand Stream going. We have the Sand Bale. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. If this EQ can land, it's GG's. If this EQ can land, it's GG's. If we can pull this one off. We can pull off this EQ. It is night, night. Big old double kill coming in hot. Let's see. Protect coming out from Titar. How are we going to roll out the... We got speed. GG's. GG's. Both these guys dead. We're Swords Dance. Oh! Beautiful. <clears throat> It is beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Like I said in the beginning, probably the best combo of the game right here. Tyranitar, Garchomp. It's just too good. It is way too powerful. Once you get this Garchomp set up, oh. And that's why exactly I put Sableye on the scene. Hit that fake out. We can quash. Allow him to set up and just get rolling out from that. Doesn't get better than that. Doesn't get better than that. But what a way to start off today's video. 6v6 victory? There's no way we lose this battle now. <laughs> He's going to throw out Tyranitar. Zone, and I'm pretty sure I can just EQ out, right? Pretty sure I can just oh, oh my god yeah just EQ this. We're just gonna EQ this and I think my Tyranitar should be able to eat this up. Right? And then I guess we'll drop like a rock slide just like this. Oh my god, what a gorgeous, gorgeous battle. Dangar might be able to outspeed Garchomp. That's gonna be kinda close, let's see. But if not, dude, another EQ. Wrap it up, dude. Yep, there <laughs> yo dude, Garchomp is teeing off. Teeing off! Teeing off, picks up the big KO, and my Tyranitar did survive on three. That's huge. That is huge. That's only because we were so defensively bored for him. But, did EQ pick up every single kill except for one? I mean, Garchomp picked up every single kill. Dragon Call the Gyarados and then EQ the rest. Second battle coming at you guys, and this time I get to pick the rules. We're rocking with a 4v4 battle, but yo, that Garchomp last battle, he dominated. My boy Garchomp just teed off five kills with EQ, one with Dragon Call. Once he got that Sword Stance rolling, it was GG's from there. But the Sableye did come up clutch going for that Quash. That quash on the Gyarados really did save us. Because if we didn't quash that Gyarados, he was probably taking out my boy. He was probably taking out my boy. But how should I go into this one? How should I set it up? He has a Feralgator. He also has a Toad Kiss. I got to watch out for that Lightning Rod on the right. Definitely got to watch out for that. But I feel like uh, we're going to need something to counteract Scissor. So I feel like Arcanine is going to be a solid lead here. I don't know if I should lead Arcanine or just bring him in the back. I think I'm going to lead him. I think I'm going to lead Arcanine at maybe alongside with Scissor. Just could be good. Or T-Tar. And then eventually just get Garchomp in there. Or I can lead Garchomp. I am digging Garchomp. I don't know why. I'm digging him. But I'm kind of digging this uh, Tyranitar too. You know, let's lead Tyranitar. <laughs> let's lead Tyranitar, bring Garchomp in the back end. And then last but not least, did we go Rotom or Scissor? Scissor's nice for that Toad Kiss. Rotom can counter the Toad Kiss once the, uh, the what's called away? Once that uh, Raichu's away. But I, I, I'm licking Rotom here. So you know what? We're going to lock in Rotom. We're going to lock him down. We're going to go back to back here. But like I said, that first battle, your boy Jeans brought you some good content. That's just like it. If you're not subscribed, Click that big red subscribe button. Get on top of it. Get on top of that. But we're going to go Arky alongside with uh, T-Tar. And this isn't too bad. It's not too bad. We get off the Intimidate. We just go up against that Feralgator. But the Feralgator, it's just ready to do some damage. It is ready to do some damage. I am going to try to throw a burn on him turn one. And then kind of just go from there. So I'm going to throw the Will-O-Wisp towards him. And then, do I drop a rock? Might as well drop some rocks. Might as well drop some rocks. But will o is going to fly here. And then, let's rock slide it up. Let's get a little rock slide a bit of a rock sizzle. But yeah, we know he's going to fake us out, but I wonder who he's going to fake out. There's not like one prominent Pokemon that I have out on the field that we know he's going to fake out. There's fake out. He's going to fake out the Arcanine. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. He fakes out the Arcanine, and then he's just going to go for a Dragon. I need to get a burn on this thing. Like ASAP. <laughs> like ASAP, dude. D-Dance for Alligator. At least his attack is normal now. At least it's normal. He's just, he's just plus one speed. But Rock Slide comes out here and does a decent amount of damage. We're a defensive bulk to Tyranitar. Buffett's gonna fly through here, chip up on everybody except for Tyranitar. We're just gonna roll off. Here. Okay. Oh, Art. I see you. I see you. I understand. 
Uh, from here, I'm just gonna go for another Will O' Wisp, man. Drop a Will O' Wisp, and I, I just think Rock Slide's a play again. Rock Slide, Will O' Wisp, just keep sending them. But his Frogator is definitely scaring me. He might Volt Switch out to somebody else, but Frogator, I think, is definitely a waterfall straight into my Arcanine. And maybe Arcanine can eat it up? It might be able to. That's it. Just a waterfall. He's going into it. It's an Arcanine. Arcanine. Absolutely dumped on. But now I can bring out my Garchomp, or I can bring out Rotom. Rotom's kind of looking good once we get rid of this Raichu. And he does Volt Switch. Just a Volt Switch, we're able to soak that up really easily. Like I said, this thing is so bulky. This thing is so bulky. Great fake out turn from him on the Arcanine. Because if he didn't fake out Arcanine, we were throwing a burn off for Alligator. We would have been sitting pretty. We would have been sitting pretty. He's going to bring out Garchomp of his own, and I think I'm going to bring my, my Garchomp out. I think I might bring out my Garchomp. Did I bring out my Chomsky? My lovely little Chomsky? But the one thing we got to watch out for is like, if that thing's rocking Ice Bang, that could be bad. That could definitely be bad. So I might roll into my Garchomp and try to get him to to go into him and then just protect the shot. Even though we do have the Bright Powder and the Sand Bell, we have a chance of dodging. I don't wanna I don't wanna risk my turn on the chance of a dodging, you know? So I'm just gonna go into a crunch here. I'm just gonna crunch down onto Sprawlgator. I need to get rid of it this turn. If I want a shot at one. So protect Garchomp, we're going in with that crunch. Let's see how this one plays out here. Man, he has some good Pokemon out of the field. Let's see what he does. He's gonna end up withdrawing. Oh, that's purdy. That's purdy, yo. Show me the Frogator going into my chomp. Who's he gonna go into though? Tokus could come in here. Thinking I'm going for a dragon move. Nah, son. We're not going for a dragon move. We're protecting, we're feeling the situation out. Red Frogator, go for the Ice Fang or something. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Get rid of this Frogator. Get rid of this Frogator, Titar. I need you here. We got the Buffets also chipping too, but I think we should be good here. Oh my God. Your boy Jeans is thriving. What a play. What a play by us. Great little protect read right there. Nice little crunch to get him out the way. And now we are sitting here. We know he has Tokus, and he's going to have to be forced to bring out that Garchomp on that left side, right? Or he's going to go back in the Raichu, which I think he's going to I think Raichu is going to come out here. At this point, I might just swap it to Rotom. No, he's going to bring out... Okay, bring out Garchomp. What would that? Follow me could definitely come out here, so... In this case, I feel like we saved this thing. While he goes for a follow me, we can just do this. And then we can just drop a nice little rock slide. We'll save our Chomp. We will save our Chomp. We will save the Chomp, because Chomp can't do anything up against Tokus. Dragon Moves can't hit him. EQ can't hit him, so we're going to swap him and allow this follow me to probably come through here. Oh, he goes for an EQ. It's fine by me. He goes for an EQ. That's even better for us. So, wow. We could have went for we could have went for the heavy hitting shot here. We could have went for the big time shot. Gleam's probably going to take me out, right? My Tyrantar. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. No bueno. No bueno. Wow, dude. We could have went for a Dragon Call here. I could have I could have dumped on his What's It Gone. I could have dumped on his Garchomp. Could have done that. I could have done that. Wow. That's rough. Still, Sandbell's coming out here. Do we have a shot? If we want a shot, we have to take out this. Uh, me and my Rotom take out this uh, Togekiss. That's our only way of winning. That is our only way of winning. So we're going to go for the Thunderbolt. We're going to hope that Garchomp maybe potentially wins the Speed Tie. We can rip through it. Well, let's see what he does. Is follow me coming out? No, he doesn't follow me. My Garchomp goes first. Let's take him out. That's huge. That is enormous. That gives us a fighting chance here. That gives us a fighting chance because the battle was looking good on his side. I'm surprised he didn't go for a follow me there. Was he not rocking follow me with Tokus? He's gonna go next. He's gonna gleam. And yo, Rotom should be able to eat that up, right? <gasps> no! No! He critted my Rotom. And my Chomp! The Super Luck Scope Wentz doing me dirty. Doing me so dirty. Wow, that's rough. That is rough. That dang Togekiss in the last battle. That Togekiss did me dirty. Only if we brought our Scissor. We probably should have because, you know, Scissor could just one-tap that easily with a bullet punch. But it is what it is. We're hopping into our third and final battle. Looking to grab ourselves a winning record here. Going up against a Gengar Rotom Wash team with Latios. Or, no, that's Latios for Speed Control. And then Milotic, Umbreon, and Heat. I, I see this guy. I, oh, or I see this guy. How should I go into this one? How should I play it? I think Arcanine could be solid. A lot of special attackers. This so could be huge. I think Sableye rocks strong too, right? I think I have Snarl on the Sableye, right? Oh, yeah. Let's lead Sableye, then. Sableye is a gorgeous little lead. We can fake out. We kind of control that way. We could lead uh, Skizzy as well, or Rotom. Rotom's looking pretty sna snazzy, right? Rotom is looking pretty snazzy. Super effective up against a few of these guys. So, you know, we'll lead the Rotom. Try to get Rotom rolling in here, bring Scissor in the back, and then last but not least, I'm feeling this Chomp, right? I'm feeling the Chomp. Or we could go Titar. I think Chomp's just a little bit better in this situation. Yeah, I'm gonna rock out with Chomp. We're gonna lock it in. We're gonna lock it down. We're gonna look to grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. 
Let's get after it. Let's get after it. Let's see if he's going to lead, though. I think Latios is going to get the lead, right? No, he doesn't. Okay, Umbreon and Gengar. Beautiful Pokemon. Look at that. Look at those two. Love them. Say bye and Rotom's going to come out here. Um, Inner Focus is probably on that Umbreon, so I think I'm just going to start Snarl dropping, right? I think I'm just Snarl is just going to poke out here, and then we're just going to drop. Hydroland is Hydro Pump, right? Try to get rid of this Gengar. With it. There's a big old special attack. And then, obviously, he's Ghost type, so we can take him out. And then on top of that, Umbreon is probably rocking Inner Focus. There's no point in taking Let's see what it does. Shadow Ball's going to come out here. Can you eat that? Probably not. Okay, yeah, you can. I thought it was super effective for some reason. Hydro Pump comes through here. Beautiful. Bringing some down to maybe Sash. Decent damage, right? Oh, yeah. We, then Umbreon's going to just go for a foul play, which, yeah, that's good. Oh, no. We eat that. We love it. We love it. Save Black clutching up. We're going to be able to go for a Snarl. We get rid of the Gengar just like that. That's huge. That's a huge turn. Wow, I could have Nasty Pots. I could have. I could have. That's solid. Special attack drop on the Umbreon, even though he's probably rocking foul play. It'd be a special attack move. It's really just there for support. So Snarl's not too, too much to it. But we do have our uh, our bug in the back. A red bug. Scissor. He can do some work on that. Outfit, so, not really too worried about it. Not really too worried about it. But solid turn. Solid solid first turn all around for us. I'll take it all day. Say bye still alive. Rotom's at full HP. And we picked up a KO. Can't go wrong with that. He's going to bring out Heatran here. I'm guessing he's going to protect, right? I'm guessing he's going to protect. Like, gotta protect, right? And I'll try to take off this thing's leftovers. I'm going to set up an AC bot here. I'm guessing that thing's protecting, right? Oh my god. Mwah. Gino. Jeans. Gino's my real name. I don't know why I just said my real name. But Jeans, yo, let's get it, baby. <laughs> what a call. We love it. We plot. We read the protect hard. And what's he going for Umbreon? Probably another foul play? Yeah. Think I'm a save line? Fine. Fine by me. What a turn. What a turn. Now I can actually roll in the guard chomp if I want, which is probably my play because I can send EQs freely. Freely. All day. All day long. All day long. Drop an EQ and we'll hydro pump it. It's just, it's just, a, it's just an easy play, right? Easy play. Easy play right there. Unless he swips, swatches, or the uh, swaps in a Milo thing. But I don't know if he brought Milo. He's gonna swap. Let's see. Let's see who his final Pokemon is. It's gonna be Milo. <laughs> I told you, dude. Oh my god! Could you imagine if I read the uh, Thunderbolt? It could've been nasty. We're gonna EQ here. We got Levitate on Rotom, which is gorgeous. And we gotta drop a nice little. Probably gonna foul play me, right? I mean, I could just Thunderbolt next turn. Or I can read the Protect next turn. But there's that. I'm probably just gonna Dragon Ball on the next turn. Probably gonna play and just watch damage that thing. Did a lot. Did a lot. Real good. He's gonna yawn me. Yawn, so maybe Protect. I might have to swap out. Do I swap? Swap to keep my Rotom? Or do I, do I allow him to go to sleep? Do I allow him to go to sleep? I think it's Guts. I'm guessing I think he's gonna Protect. So you know what? I'm just gonna drop a Dragon Ball. I'm gonna swap into this. Right, Milo takes it. They, they gotta protect here. Try to get my Rotom just go to, go to sleep, right? There's no way he stays in there because we have to speed like crazy. See what he does. Swap in the red bug. We read another protect. We read another protect. So what a swap by us. We were just playing out of our minds in this third battle. Dragon Call's gonna poke out here. How much damage is he gonna do? I'm around real bulky. He's real bulky and he's gonna foul play me. Alright, I'm cool with that. He foul plays my scissor. He foul plays my skizzy. And now I can just dragon call into the Milotic and kind of just roll up from there, right? Yeah, dragon call the Milotic and then just uh, go for an X scissor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as scissor can outspeed. Scissor can outspeed this Umbreon. I don't think we can get up another foul play. Solid turn for us. He might withdraw back into the heat train. He's gonna go for. Oh no, he's gonna protect Umbreon. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that because this Dragon Call should be able to take this thing out, right? Dragon Call coming in hot. Oh, picked. Oh, it doesn't pick up the K. <gasps> ah! Ah! That is terrifying. It's no bueno. That is no bueno. No good. What a play. Actually, a lucky play. That Dragon Call should take him out. I'm upset. I'm upset. Real upset. All right, you know what? That's it. We're setting up the sword dance. And we'll, we'll post a threat with the axe scissors. My scissor goes down here and I can set up the sword dance. Ouch. Oh, ouch, man. Really didn't take out that Milo there? He's going to end up withdrawing. It's totally fine with swords dance. He's going to go back into the heat train. It's fine. It's fine. Team's going to go after me. 
It's totally fine. He's gonna take out my skizzy. I want him to go after my skizzy, because, uh, you know, we're thriving with this now. He just can just... We do have road time in the back end as well. Let's do a mile. Oh, we survived. Thank the Lord. A beautiful survive right there. A big beautiful survive. All right, we're going to show... We are just going to... Uh, do I hard swap in the road time? Or do I try to get off as much damage as I can? And make sure the single is I feel like I have to make sure the mile if it goes down here. So, you know what? We're just going to drop an EQ. I'm just going to bullet punch into it. We KO our scissor, we KO our scissor. That's all good. But yo, our chomp with us. That's big plays. That's big plays. We love those plays. We love those plays. It's gonna be close. This is gonna be close battle. Because Umbreon is just so bulky at back end. And he can yawn, he can do a lot of different stuff. Do a lot of different stuff and things. Yawn, he can protect. Oh, that's no good. That is way that is not good at all. 1v1, I think Umbreon can do some work on oh my god. This guy's a little confused here. He doesn't know what to do because he knows we're in a hot seat with that with that uh with that lovely little sword dance. The sword dance was huge, and, and us surviving that ice beam was even bigger. He's gonna end up protecting Heatran, and we're doubling down to Milotic. We should just get rid of Milotic, right? Like, I don't mind taking out my own sizzle if we get rid of this Milotic. And we should be able to get rid of him easily. But our scissors gonna go down. I was gonna I was gonna swap into the Rotom, but I was just like, dude, I need this Milotic gone. And Garchomp, if we're going to win this battle, Garchomp, man. Garchomp and Rotom are going to do the work. Scissor really isn't going to do, do any of the heavy. Except for Umbreon. But I think we should be fine with that. That's, that's my whole philosophy. We can bring out Rotom here. Uh, now we're free to go into EQ. Absolutely free to go into EQ. And I think at this point, we uh, drop an EQ and then we... Uh, do we double down to Umbreon or do we Nasty Plot? I'm leaning towards a little bit of Nasty Plot here. I'm leaning towards a bit of a nasty plot. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Let a nasty plot up. So Umbreon's real bulky. And he lands a double. Get out of my face. Good thing we're nasty plot in here. Good thing we are nasty plot. And he lands double protect. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you land a double protect? We're gonna do that, and that's some big damage right there. And the question is, who do I take out first? Do I take out Umbreon first? I mean, Umbreon might protect, so we might just want to take out uh, E Tran first. Because Umbreon's gonna take out my guard champion all day, right? Yeah. Wow, your lands a double protect. Out my face with that. Get get out of here with that. Get out of here with that. Okay, so the thing here is he can yawn me. He can yawn me. So I kind of just want to take him out. But if he protects, it's tough. But I feel like he has to go. Right? Hopefully he doesn't protect. I mean, he's got to think that I'm going for Ro or Heatran. Beautiful. Thunderbolt comes out here. Bang, bang, bang. Get on out of here. Get him on out of here. So all we have to do is eat up the shot and then hopefully land a Hydro Pump. See what he goes for. Gonna go for the Flash Cannon. How much damage? Don't, don't do... Um, okay, yeah, we're fine. He ain't doing it. We got this battle on lock. <laughs> we also have the Citrus Berry too. But yo, what a battle by us. Made some great Protect Reads. Actually, two amazing Protect Reads. Got a Rotom back out here at the end. Set up that nice spot. And it's over with. So we're connecting this Hydro Pump. We're not connecting this Hydro Pump. Let's wait another turn, guys. <laughs> Let's wait another turn. He's going to go for the Heat Wave. Watch, he's going to pick up the lovely little burn. Watch how lucky this guy is. Okay, he doesn't. Cool. Now we're going to go for a Hydro Pump. I swear. This is what Hydro Pump's going to Hydro Pump comes. Yo. Yo, game. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. Don't. Don't. Don't you dare. Don't you dare do me like that. Don't you do me like that. This is my last Hydro Pump. Thank you. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Get this guy out of my lobby. Get him on out of here. We take that win all day. I thought for a quick second we were going to miss another Hydro Pump and lose that battle. I would have been so upset. I would have been so upset. But hey, last Hydro Pump comes in that battle. We grab ourselves that win and we grab ourselves a winning record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend positive today and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.